Attention Deficit Disorder, also known as ADD, is one of the subtypes of the psychiatric disorders that are predominantly diagnosed in children or adolescents. The difference between ADD and Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, is that even though the person finds it hard to concentrate, with ADD they do not experience impulsivity or hyperactivity. They are, however, inattentive and tend to daydream often and get distracted very easily. People with ADHD experience hyperactivity and impulsivity. Hyperactivity can include excessive fidgeting and moving around or non-stop talking. Impulsivity is displayed by a person making questionable decisions without thinking. Many people experience symptoms of both types, which is known as type 3, and is a combination of the two. Children diagnosed with this subtype show significant problems with hyperactivity and inattention. However, they may gradually have less trouble with hyperactivity and impulsivity as they get into their teen years. People with ADHD have a reduced amount of dopamine receptors in the brain. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is released by the brain during situations of reward or risky and impulsive behaviour. Those that have ADHD use up the neurotransmitter a lot quicker. These factors result in lower dopamine levels, which can cause the inattentive and hyperactive behaviour. ADHD is considered a neurodevelopment disorder, and symptoms begin between the ages of 6 to 12 years old. The causes of ADHD are unknown. Scientists do believe that it is a combination of environmental and genetic factors, with a number of genes in particular influencing neuroreceptor and neurotransmitter production. Possible treatments for ADHD can be medication in the form of a stimulant. The stimulant focuses on the slow release of dopamine. This ensures that there is a high level of dopamine in the brain. This then helps control and improve the focus and attention. A recent study had found that regular 30 minute exercise had positive effects on the mood, planning and problem solving in young people with ADHD. Other forms of treatment can be behavioural psychotherapy. Psychotherapy for children can be focusing on organisation and time management skills, which can include focusing and completing a task under a time constraint. This sort of therapy should be reinforced by parents and teachers, which reward behaviour and skills learnt in the psychotherapy session while discouraging disruptive and impulsive behaviour. Adult psychotherapy focuses on similar skills only at a higher and more refined level. Treatment can vary from patient to patient and a combination of the treatment can be used to reduce the symptoms. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.